This video will guide you through the basic navigation and overview of the features of the MindTap Reader. The MindTap Reader is a powerful and useful tool for both you and your students. Its interactive features offer your students a variety of study tools that will help them manage their time so that they can read and study more effectively. Textbook readings are identified by a book icon in the learning path and can either be presented by chapter or, in some cases, displayed within a folder which opens to reveal the chapter sections. Click on the chapter name to open the MindTap Reader. You can click to go directly to a specific section, or you can click on the arrow on the right to scroll through the pages as you would a printed book. Notice that this chapter opens with a short video to engage the students. What is business? It's so many things, as you'll learn in this course, but let's get a preview. The value of all goods and services produced in the United The video is closed captioned and can be viewed full screen. As we scroll down the page, the illustrations can be enlarged by clicking on the plus sign in the top right corner. At the top of the screen, you will see a series of icons on the right. The first is the read speaker icon. Clicking on the icon, and then the play arrow, will launch ReadSpeaker and begin reading the page aloud. Defining marketing. If you ask several people what marketing is... ReadSpeaker has become one of the most popular features of the MindTap Reader for students. They love being able to hear their textbook read aloud, making the MindTap Reader function as an audiobook. This feature is also extremely valuable for students with disabilities. The default voice for ReadSpeaker is male. But if you prefer a female voice or wish to slow down or speed up the voice, click on the Read Speaker app located in the app dock to the right. The next three icons, three letter A's, will adjust the size of the font which will benefit those with visual disabilities or who prefer to read a larger font size. The next icon is a ribbon icon which will bookmark the page for you. Notice that the ribbon will turn red when you click on it to indicate that you have bookmarked the page. The next icon is the print icon, which will print out the page. The last icon is the help icon, which offers additional information about using the reader. At any time, use the progress bar at the bottom of the page to see where you are in the chapter and quickly jump to another section if desired. On the top left side of the page, you will find a link back to the chapter contents and a pencil icon which will enable edit mode. This allows you to add inline content like videos, web links, and more to your reader and truly personalize the reader experience for your students. This is covered in more detail in a separate video. Now let's look at the first paragraph on the page. Key terms are highlighted in blue, and when you click on the key term customer relationship management, the definition of the term appears. No need to open a glossary or dictionary, though both are available as apps in the MindTap app dock on the right. The MindTap Reader also offers you and your students the ability to add highlights and sticky notes to the pages, as well as create flashcards. These are covered in training videos. In addition to finding the MindTap Reader from within the learning path, there is a full book app on the app dock. This includes all chapters of the book plus the preface and appendices. However, it does not have all the functionality of the version available in the learning path, like read speaker, highlighting and note taking, or adding bookmarks. The full book app is useful when you want to quickly get to a specific chapter or when you want to have two pages open at the same time. You may want to let your students know that they should access the MindTap Reader from within the learning path to access the most powerful features for learning and studying the content. Thank you for completing this video training for MindTap. For additional help or resources, please visit our training and support sites or join the higher ed community to engage with your peers.